what's going on YouTube family um, as you all know I got um, my V rod now which I'm excited about and today I wanted to show you all what I've done to it so far in this extremely short period of time so let's check it out infinite right up So what do y'all think about the V-Rod? Hope y'all like the way she looks. Well, don't matter to me. I like the way she looks. Let's hear that crank up. Get it in neutral. Here we go. Oh, we. That thing sound like a monster. All them deers back there is tripping me out. They just staring. I highly doubt y'all can see this because they so far away. But it's a whole bunch of deer over there. And they like just staring at me. I filmed it with my phone too, so. They like, what are you doing in our neck of the woods? Oh my. This thing is <laughs> so fun. Like I thought Harley had a bunch of torque. Since I put this exhaust on here, it's like, hello. I'll go over all the things I did to the bike um, in some future videos. You know, I'll talk about the exhaust. I'll talk about the fairing that's on here. I'll talk about the headlight and where I got it from. I'll talk about everything that I've done to the V-Rod and my experiences with the V-Rod as I live through them with this bike. Man, she sound good. I'm telling you, it's like having a a, um, a Dyna lowrider on crack. <laughs> Cause it's got that that steel. This one, the 04 model, which I'm riding, still has a very comfortable seating position. And we'll go over some of the differences in this model and the newer ones down the line. But I'm kind of happy I got one of the the first models because of some key differences but of course I had to make the bike my own and y'all know I like all black everything I really wanted to powder coat the wheels black too but it's just too much of a hassle I may still do it down the line or just get the the main center part painted black and keep the rim that aluminum color because I kind of like for now she gonna look like this of course i still gotta do some things like i probably i might i don't know i kind of like the mirrors on here but i might upgrade the mirrors i know i gotta get some better grips i gotta get some levers or levers or whatever y'all want to call them ideally i'd like to get one of them one finger levers or or if if somebody want to you know send me some levers to review anything like that feel free the address to send me stuff to review is down in the um, comment section below so definitely send those out i got a whole bunch of other stuff at the house i still need to unbox and review maybe some of those items will work for the v-rod if they do i'll be extremely happy also gotta get a fender eliminator because i hate the bunny ears that's on the back of here but before i do that i gotta get a, a side mount plate to mount the tag on the side so there's still things i want to do to the bike i also gotta get a tuner that's probably the most important thing because I, I threw this two in the one exhaust on here and it ain't tuned because I ain't put no tuner on here yet. Woo! Man, it's just, this bike has so much torque. It's unbelievable. Like the other day I was riding it and that was like right after I got done painting it and everything because everything on here I actually did myself. I painted the bike, 
I cut the decals myself. Everything I did myself. I had a lot of polishing up to do because a lot of stuff was oxidized and it was like polishing the turd, which is still some more things I got to polish. Everything I did myself, so I'm proud of myself for that. There's still a few things I, I definitely got to get done. But the other day when I was riding it, right after I got done doing some of this stuff, I was coming out of a corner and I was just straightening up and I hit it and you literally felt the front end go light like the front wheel came off the ground just a little itty bitty bit so this thing is extremely powerful I mean it red lines at 9,000 rpms like what you don't even get to feel the real power of it until you're at where my sportster would probably red line it's just crazy man it sounds good it's that sound baby so let me know what y'all think of the v-rod comment down below do y'all like it do y'all think i made a good choice i'm gonna be able to do some much longer trips now and get outside of my area and go on some rides like i'm planning on riding this baby down to myrtle to go kick it with my dad he got him a v-rod too we're gonna go ride around stuff like that um also i'm planning on possibly taking it to a few other places up in the mountains stuff like that but i'm excited about this this is going to be huge because now i have a cruiser that rides like my r6 <laughs> but i'm gonna check y'all out in the next video make sure you stay safe and be blessed and get out there on two wheels and most importantly people hit that subscribe button the like button and comment below love y'all